What's going on guys? You already know who it is. It's your boy, The Jogger here. And today we're in Custom Curve Pro. Um, 15 bucks. Uh, I'm sure there's some codes out there that you can get it for like $10, but it's a really good program, especially if you want to dive deep into uh, Mouse Excel. And I know a lot of you guys have been loading my custom uh, curve and a couple of settings that you want to apply when you're loading in the curve. It's just you want to apply settings that log on and run without process. Um, and I have bypass, confirm changes, and show values over hover. And there's a bunch of presets here. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys like my thought process when uh, making this curve for myself. Um, I'm playing at 800 DPI with a four in-game sensitivity. Monitor coefficient really doesn't matter that much. Basically, whatever you're comfortable with. I've been on uh, 1.78, 1.33, and zero. Whatever one you're comfortable with. Um, but the process for my curve, um, is basically I wanted something that would slow down and then gradually increase over time. And I know a lot of you would say, well, why don't you just lower your end game sensitivity or your ADS sensitivity? It's because it's not like a gradual slowdown or gradual like speed up. Um, but when you're in here, you can actually move around, right? You can move them up if you want like a little steeper of a curve, you can move them down. And the green line is the old curve. Um, and you can actually move this down. So it's actually at 0 0.6 my sensitivity, and then one is where my sensitivity is at, right? Um, so uh, whenever I'm like swiping really fast, I like to have it to where it's like my normal sensitivity. And then when I'm slowing down, I have that like fine tuned aim right here. But maybe you want it a little slower. Maybe you think that, okay, I want this a little slower. You can move this down You can actually points around and make however like your curve how you want it to be so if you only click fast you'll have that high sensitivity or that lower curve right and um this is just a good program uh you could play around with it like i have um and just figure out like what curve is best for you you can actually add points so if you right click uh you can add a point and i see i added a point there if i wanted this a little steeper i could go like this and go down like that and I can have it a little steeper so um where it mimics like okay I, it's really low it's at 0. 0.5 I believe it's 5 um and that, it, it shows you the coordinates right here on the graph um but if I wanted this to be around 0. 0.5 I can have it almost there. right there okay that's close enough where it's 0. 0.5 my sensitivity and maybe I wanted to move up a little further, right? And you can even like raise these points even higher. You can lock it if you want to. Um, but this is just a good program. I highly recommend you guys going through and trying out your own curve. I, I believe mine is a good one to start out with. Um, but there's a bunch of presets here and it actually scales to your DPI. They have 800, 1600, and 3200. And I know a lot of you have been asking, well, what about 400 DPI? Guys, um, Raw Excel or this custom curve, it doesn't scale well with 400 DPI. Uh, actually, the higher the DPI, it's going to scale even better. So I actually might move this up to 1600 DPI because it'll scale better. Uh, I don't recommend going 32 or 6400. That's just ridiculous. But um, this actually solves the issue of like your end game, like your mouse cursor. Um, if you go to 1600, it'll feel pretty fast, but you can still have that like fine tune aim if that helps you, like if that makes sense. So um, also like these presets here, um, you can have like a, a normal like a linear curve um, where it drops down to really, really slow and then goes up really fast as you flick. Um, and there's a bunch of good options here. I, I suggest you guys try them all. I really didn't like this one because it was like too gradual. Um, and then go through and like check out all the presets here. Um, really play around with it, really make it your own. Um, there's a custom curve discord that I will be dropping the link down in the description below. And I also have my discord. A lot of people have been sharing their curves on there and it's just really, really helpful. Um, this is like a really good tool. I think it's easier than raw Excel to make these curves, especially for someone who doesn't have like a bunch of time. I could actually like customize one of these curves, right? And that's actually what I did. Um, I customized my own curve and I saved it, right? And um, basically all you have to do is you can go to like preset you like, select your DPI, and then kind of like play around with the curve, right? Um, and like you can add a point. So we're gonna add a point here um, and then just like mess around with it and find out a curve you like. It's a lot of tweaking. Um, if I wanted to have it at my one sensitivity, and then if I wanted to like bring this curve up, 
um, I can and to bring it up, right? Just around, play with it, make it your own. And uh, it will really, um, you can really customize your aim, right? You can really customize it. If I wanted to add another point here, I can make it up curved up. And if I want to do it, this and I can just hit apply and now that's like a new curve right but um the thought process behind the curve like I said is if you want something to slow down while you're aiming and then you want it to rapidly go up to your actual sensitivity when you're swiping you could do that and I highly recommend everybody to go through and like I said try this out let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below there's a bunch of videos out there that shows you how to download this and how to uh get your key and all that like I said 15 bucks that's 15 dollars I ever spent or if you just want to use my uh custom curve um the link is down in the description below join my discord all that good stuff as always guys remember to stay blessed stay humble and I'll catch you in another video Peace.